Hi everyone, so it's Thursday afternoon. I'm just about to go and meet the boys from after school club. Um, I'm hoping they've both had a good day. More concern over Harrison today. Um, he had a bit of a meltdown this morning um, after a lack of sleep last night as well um, as some high emotions yesterday evening. Um, bit of a difficult one. So this morning we saw him getting really um, on edge, emotional um, over his Kindle. One of the games he was playing wasn't going as planned. So, you know, we saw anger. He thumped the Kindle. Um, he wanted to throw it. We saw upset. Um, he was crying. He was a little bit violent, um, both emotionally and physically. Um, he he just wasn't a happy boy. Um, surely, you know, his emotions have gone that little bit too far for him. And Colin, Colin did mention that he was similar yesterday evening when I was out. Um, so it's a bit difficult to understand why he was upset. He wouldn't verbalise to us. He wouldn't tell us the root of the problem. He just made, basically said it was over the Kindle. Um, but my train of thought is that it's probably built up before then. So perhaps he had a rough day yesterday at school. Um, we do know that he had his... Uh, school photos I'm not quite sure if that was a trigger something that was different out of routine um, we don't know um, sometimes it's just a bit too much for him you know lots going on in the day um, the way it's ex uh, you know expected to be and then come home to his comfort of the Kindle and it wasn't going to plan um, that was just enough to send him on a meltdown um, there's been a lot in the press and in the media about kids having too much electronic time um, and I kind of get that, you know, you want to see your child go out and get the exercise and take up a sport maybe, but I know certainly my boys aren't really interested in that right now. Um, trying to turn their focus onto that won't go down well. <laughs> we we won't see much of um, a reaction to that other than no. Um, and they'll get bored very quickly. Um, but in the Signet course today, it was a, it was a good course, um, good session. Um, it was someone brought up, you know, the devices, electronics, and and such. And a comment was made, and just thought that is perfect. It sums it up perfectly. Um, that sometimes, if it's been too much for them in the day, a bit too peopley, where they've had to socialise and things have just got, you know, they've got by, but it's been too much for them. They just want to come back and chill out and go on there kindle or phone or computer or whatever it is xbox um and kind of zone out for a bit i completely get it now i get it it's not that it's not just part of their obsession at the moment they are obsessed with certain games but maybe it's their their way of kind of getting over the day and i get it i get it now um you know what would you do they're trying to get their their head around the day by going on a, a device but this in turn can then push them over the edge it's almost like a vicious circle um, for that it's difficult to know what's best you can like I said you can try and divert their attention but it doesn't always go down well and in, in trying to take their obsession or their release away you're actually gonna play into the hands of a meltdown so to manage that it's a bit difficult. It's hard to know what to do for the best. Um, if anyone has any ideas, do let me know. Um, but yeah, I think we can only do what we feel is right in the moment. Um, so, you know, today we did let him have the Kindle. We managed to get the emotions calmed down into the bath and get him to breakfast club okay. Um, and by that point, I think he'd really calmed down and, you know, the emotions had subsided for now. But my concern was that once he hit school and the anxieties would build again you know that would be all internal because he doesn't verbalize it at school he doesn't he doesn't share his anxieties or his needs with the teachers or assistants or anyone um, I did email in just to let them know and perhaps he could be watched out for didn't hear anything back and we got an acknowledgement but we didn't hear to say he was having a hard time so um, I think it's going to be interesting now to see how he's been. 
hopefully he's okay but I think you know we're going to be on edge as his parents we're going to be on edge to to look out for those signs those little signs maybe he's going to be chewing on his t-shirt um maybe he's going to be twitching um you know just stimming ever so slightly that some people might not necessarily see but we know um and hopefully we can we can see that the first you know the first signs of it and, and act as we need to um i think we're going to bring fi friday fun day a little bit earlier so normally on a friday we have a bit of a mucky meal um maybe we'll bring that earlier a day earlier and, and have something fun for tea um you know have uh, have some music on let them do what they want to friday's just around the corner so hopefully they can get through one more day at school but tonight i think we'll just try and handle things as we see fit um wish me luck i'm hoping it'll be fine um if not hopefully harrison will feel comfortable enough to explain what's going on we always try you know we always let him see that we're here to listen you know he's he's more than welcome to share anything or not if he doesn't want to we can't press it we can't push him um but we'll see so here goes it's now 20 past five i'm gonna go in um and hopefully i can get the boys home just in time to meet colin so uh i'll let you know how it goes all right thanks for listening take care